Thank you very much, uh, last young caller. I mean, uh, first of all, I want to declare that I have an interest in some of the issues that I want to raise here this evening. First of all, with regard to tax measures, uh, Minister, the one thing that this government is not doing, it is not rewarding people who want to work. And there are people tonight who will be scratching their heads, working very hard, doing their best to make a living. They're looking for nothing from this government only to work and get on with their lives. And they're not being treated well by you here today. I want to say about the disability sectors and the Section 39 workers. They have been uh, shouting very loud and very hard for a long time. They certainly can't take comfort from this budget either today. The cost of living services, Minister McGrath stated today that I am conscious that the price of petrol and diesel for motorists ha has increased in recent weeks and went on to say that he will defer the final increase in excise duties. The Minister failed to mention that tonight, because of carbon taxes, diesel will rise by 2.5 cent and petrol by 2.1 cent. The Minister also failed to mention the rise in our fuel prices is because the Minister pressed ahead with the two rises in excise duty and the Government continued to take upwards of 56 per cent of the price of a litre of fuel. And that's being backed here by every backbencher who support in this Government. Social welfare supports. I and my colleagues in the Rural Independent Group had asked that a, a, a grant of €1,000 of support be brought back um, to help people uh, through a bereavement grant. And unfortunately, this was taken away by Fine Gael and Labour uh, in their heyday, and uh, the government failed to take this on board at a time when there was the ability to pay it to people, they refused. Carers also uh, save this state thousands and thousands of euros every week. But why will this government not give them a fair payment? People caring for their loved ones at home who do so much work in the home and in keeping their loved ones at home. Uh, we in this group propose they receive €350 Euros per week. This would be money well spent by the government, but unfortunately you are failing again to recognise the good work that they are doing. Renters tax credit, while in an increase of €250 Euros to €750 Euros a, a, a year is welcome, for many people it would not even cover one month or maybe even half a month's rent in many cases. People who rent houses, 86% of them own one or two properties. Forget for a moment about those who own multiple properties and who have them riven out, rented out. Um, those people provided a much needed resource in our housing market. And people who provide a home through offer a home to Ukrainians, for example, can get a tax free payment of 800 euros per month or 9,600 euros a year, completely tax free. If you live in a local authority house, the rent a room scheme has been extended to those people and they can earn 14,000 per year per tax free. But if you own one or two properties, you will get 600 euros of a relief in the first year, 800 euros of relief in the second year, and 1,000 euros for the final two years. That's it. So rent at uh, people from outside of this country, and you will get nearly 10,000 euros tax free. Rent to a young Irish couple, and you will get 1,000 tax free. How does that make sense? That certainly wasn't thought through. Labour are saying that this is a property owner's budget. This is the party that stated they will build one million homes. Very mysteriously, they still haven't explained how they'll manage that. But at the same time, they're continuously objecting to houses in their own constituencies. They're serial objectors. Many of the people that I heard making speeches here this evening, Minister, and will be interested in this yourself. Many of them that were jumping up and down about housing tonight, they're objecting to thousands and thousands of homes being built in their own constituencies. It is one of those things that I will never be able to understand. I'll never be able to get my head around it. I could name them. I could point at the seats where they're sitting. And they've objected to 2,800, 3,000. There's one person, a fairly new deputy, objected to 5,000 homes being built in a constituency. Like, we'd really want all night to figure that one out. Businesses, the increase in the minimum wage, while of course it's great for the person who's receiving it, to the small business that will have to pay it, uh, they're certainly suffering. Now, I know that the government have said that they will put in place uh, measures to help those businesses, but I can tell you that last night from Beaufort to Fossa 
to Milltown, to Clardlin, up into Glencar, back to Glenbay, down into Cremon, doing my tour of clinics last night. <coughs> the one thing that small businesses were telling me was they were going to find it extremely difficult to keep their doors open. And I really feel that this government is letting businesses down. I want to quote Dan Horan again. I quoted him on the Prince of the Dáil last week. He's a shop owner in County Kerry. He has a, a number of small shops throughout uh, Kerry and up into Limerick. And he said if the government keep going, he went on Radio Kerry recently and he gave a great account of himself where he said that small businesses are going to close. I, I know that our group has met with the umbrella group for nursing homes and nursing homes are closing and it's wrong. Uh, there's nothing being done for small nursing homes and again those people are providing a very much needed service in our communities. I want to speak about farming and fishing because despite the fact that um, one of our ministers for finance wins seven minister, minutes over time uh, t today. The, uh, despite the good control of our con caller, who always does great work, but he left him run today. But no matter how long you would have left him run, con caller, I think the one thing that he wasn't going to f mention was fishermen or was farmers, because quite simply, he doesn't seem to appreciate, understand, or realise that we have a strong farming community that we're trying to keep going, we have a strong fishing community that we want to keep going, but if they'll keep going, it's in spite of this government they'll keep going, and not with their help, because of the simple fact the, the people on that side of the house, they really don't care about business people, small pe business people in particular. They really, really don't care about farmers, and they definitely don't care about fishermen. Because until a while ago, when uh, Deputy Collins mentioned the word fishermen, the word fishermen, I hadn't heard it here at all all day. And whether you left him go seven minutes over time or seven hours over time, no one from government was going to mention fishermen.